Hello, coming to you with your 30 minute workout. We got Andrew on the demo for us today. Our format is going to be a single A conveyor three times through. We're gonna go 36 seconds of work, 12 seconds of rest and transition time. We're gonna get in that half kneel, start warming up, go rotation one side, switch to the other side. So we're gonna go all through all 10 exercises for you today. Our first exercise, we're doing our reverse fly pulses. So Andrew's getting that hinge in his hips here, little knee bend there, back is staying flat. Look, he's pinching his shoulders, shoulder blades there, shoulders stay down. We really wanna make sure we don't bring our shoulders up to our ears, none of that. He's pinching and he's just hitting his pulses there. If you're feeling pain in your low back, we're gonna split those split stands there, one leg slightly back, still trying to get those pulses in there at that exercise. All right, then we're gonna move up to our next exercise, hitting our running man. He's loading up that front leg, you wanna feel it right in that leg. He's just tapping that back toe down on the mat, back is still staying flat. Try and challenge yourself going as fast as you can. We can always slow it down there if we need to instead. All right, let's make our way up to our feet, guys, for that warm up. We're gonna reach across our chest, one side, other side, overhead, and then switch there. Next one, we're gonna be in a one and a half stance. That just means one leg is slightly back. Again, we're gonna go into a hinge. Back is staying flat. He's pushing his butt down, or pushing his butt back. We're not trying to bring it down, okay? We're not squatting, we're hinging. So we want to feel it in the back of that front leg and right in that glute. So right feeling that pull in that back leg there. Now, if we're having any challenge with that balance or on that one, we can always go bilateral stance. So feet right next to each other, about shoulder width apart, still getting that flat back. Push that butt back, he comes up fast. On that one, we're gonna do a tempo as well. So four seconds down, two second hold, he comes right back up. So again, four, two, one on that tempo. All right, then we're gonna go down onto the mat. We're doing our bird dog, so that bird dog, opposite arm, opposite leg are extending here. Same thing with the tempo, four seconds as we extend out, two second hold, then we just reset it back in. Now, look at his leg, look at his shoulder. He's not letting his hip drop as he extends the leg out. He's going belly button to spine, squeezing tight there, getting that little arch. Then when we come back around, we'll do the other side. Now, if we're having any difficulty with that tempo there, then we'll just do that one-to-one -one ratio so he just extends out, brings it back in. All right, let's go into those alternating uh, stretches on the back of the legs here, coming up tall, extending at the top. Then we're gonna be in a little side plank position. We're tucking our hips forward. He's stacking the shoulders over the chest. Oh, stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips there. Knees are together, and then he's gonna drive that knee wide, firing up that glute there. Now he still keeps his hips forward. A lot of times we wanna push that hip back as we bring that knee up. We gotta make sure the hips stay forward. If we are feeling that our hips are going back or getting back pain, just hold that side plank there. And notice he's keeping his feet together and bringing that knee up when he's doing it on that one. All right. Then we're gonna go up on our feet. We're gonna do our lateral speed skater. So we try to float that back leg, getting that hop in there, and jumping side to side, take out the impact, we'll do our lateral step instead. All right, let's go down and do our dynamic squats for that warm up. Then we're back down on the mat, doing another tempo exercise, that magic number four, two, one. So he's in a push-up position. He's gonna come down four seconds in his push-up. Once he gets to the bottom, he's gonna hold for two, then he's gonna press up tall. Make sure we're keeping that core tight. We're not leading with our hips. We're not leading the butt back. We're not leading with our head from our shoulder to our heel, straight line. We can always do the tempo from our toes and still that four, two, one, four, two, and then we can drop to our knees and come back up or just rock it out from your knees on that one there. All right, then we're rolling on over, stand up, reset in that dynamic squat. We're doing our dead bug. Dead bug with the two leg lower. The biggest key here, that back is staying flat. So he's gonna do the same thing with the tempo. Four second lower with the legs. And then once he lower them, he's gonna hold right above the mat. Two second hold, bring the legs back up. While he does that, that back is staying flat. You gotta make sure that back is not arching. Okay, we're gonna keep it nice and tight, belly button to spine. Now, if we're having difficulty with that one, we can always just try to do leg over without the tempo or hold, or hold the dead bug instead. All right, then we're gonna be up on our feet. Let's go into our seal jacks for that warm up. Seal jacks for that warm up. All right, we got squats. Tempo back at you. We're doing that four second lower, two second hold, come back up to the top there. So four second lower, two second hold, right back up. 
Now, if we're having any knee pain or any difficulty there, just do a squat up and down, one and one with the squat there. Last one, Sphinx push up. This is gonna be a fun one, working the triceps. So we're gonna be on our knees for this one. He's gonna do another tempo here. Four second lower again, four second. Nice and steady, he's keeping his shoulders down, back staying flat. He's gonna lower, then he's gonna hold for two seconds, floating the elbows, make sure those elbows are floating, comes back up. So again, four second lower, two second hold, and then come back up there. We always just do one and one there, just trying to get down, come back up, or bring the hands further out to make that one a little more manageable to get those reps in the space push-ups. All right, that is the workout. There will be a finisher, no starter, but reminder, the format, Triple A conveyor, three times around, 36 on 12 off. All right, you gotta get ready to go. In. Yeah. yeah, all right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. That first exercise, we're doing those reverse five pulses. Here we go, in three, two, one. Let's get it started. Yeah, there you go, squeeze the core, belly button, the spine, spine right up. Remember, pinch the shoulder blades back. Make sure the shoulders are staying down here. Get that pinch right in the shoulder blades. Don't bring them up here. Oh yeah, look at good, Andrew, keep it going. There we go, keep that back nice and flat. Joanna is our modifier, she's got that split stance to support that low back. We got 10 more seconds here. Oh yeah, keep it going, Andrew, there we go, Ryan. All right, finish that last couple reps in five, four, three, two, one. There we go, all right, we're gonna go into those running hands. You're gonna load up that front leg, tap that back toe, try to go nice and quick here. All right, here we go, next set, coming at you. Yeah. 
effort, get that extra height in there, you gotta be able to do that lateral step instead. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one, get it going. Here you go. Yeah, looking good. There it is, Andrew. Try to get that extra height in there. Great job. That's it, Ryan. Looking good. It is your pace. It is your rate of making a good workout today. Not taking it easy on yourself because in order to get better, we have to be willing to challenge ourselves. You're already at the halfway mark. Keep it going. The arrow speed skin. Get the heart rate up a little bit on a straight workout. There we go. Keep putting in that work. Let's be proud of the effort that we put in today. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to the mat. We're doing our push-ups. Four second lower, two second hold. So we're coming down, we leave the chest. Keep that core tight, hold for two. Come back up, we always drop to the mat. We need to. In three, two, one, get it started. Keep that tempo. When we do that tempo, we still gotta keep that core tight. We are not letting our hips drop or raise. We keep our shoulders pinned back. You see Ryan pinches the shoulders here. He comes back up. Do not bring your shoulders to your ears there. Yeah, look at that tempo. Great job, Andrew. That's it, Ryan. Halfway, halfway. Good, Joanna. Drop it to the knees if we need to here. Challenge yourself in those push-ups. Go right in the chest. A little bit in that core. Good, yeah, Andrew. Get it. All right, finish up. In five, four, three, two, one. On your dead body. Bring me on our back. That same tempo. Keep that back nice and tight. Four seconds lower. Two seconds hold. Bring it back up. Your head will be relaxed. In three, two, one. Let's get going. Good. Yeah, that's it, Ryan. Great tempo. Holding that dead bug if we need to there. Making sure that low back is staying flat on that one. Put those toes up. There you go. Nice. All right. Keep it going. 20 seconds. That's it, Ryan. Look at Ryan. He's keeping his back flat here, okay? No arching there. Good. Great tempo there, Andrew. Keep that core. Belly by the spine there. All right. Finish it out. We got it. Great job there, Ryan. Four, three, two, one, good work. All right, on our feet for that squat tempo. Four, two, one, right back up. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, let's get it going. Fire up those legs. Four, two, and then right up. Great job, right here, right now. This is all about you. A little self-care, a little self-love at home today. Good, Ryan, keep that back flat. Not letting the chest drop. We're lowering our hips here. Four seconds away down, two second holes. Come back up. 15 more seconds to go. Keep it going. Yeah, Ryan, you want to get crazy? A little jump to the top. Get up there, get up there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Four seconds down, two second hold. We come back up. Finish it out in three, two, one. We're on to that last one. That's big push ups. Remember from the knees? We're going to press nice four second lower. So four seconds down. We Slow the elbows, two seconds hold, we come back up. In three, two, one, let's get it going. Right back at it, right here, right now. You are not worried about anything else in this 30 minutes. Just what you're gonna accomplish. There you go, oh yeah, Ryan, right up on the toes. I love it, good work, Ryan. That's it, Andrew, breathe, breathe. Still take a deep breath in, we exhale it out, we inhale the confidence, we exhale the doubt. Build yourself up in a workout. Don't just listen to yourself, talk to yourself. There you go, Joanna. Bring those hands out a little bit more. So we're keeping that floor in check. In three, two, one. We're right back to the top. So we're back to those reverse five pulses. Getting that hinge here, pulsing those shoulders back. Remember, shoulders come back, not up. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Let's get started. Yeah, get that hinge. Oh, yeah, look at those pulses. Oh, yeah. Rock Andrews squeezed in my hand right between his shoulder blades. What I want. I know the second round we set that pace with that first round. We gotta pick it up for that second round. Great job there, Joanna. the halfway. 18 seconds to go. Great work right here, right now. We are gonna get better. If you work to the point of failure, all that means is that we have worked hard enough. Breaking through some barriers today. Get those last reps in there, right? In five, four, three, two, one. Great set, guys. Great set. We're back to that running man. Make sure we're doing that other leg here. Come up that front leg, arms down, come up, tap, 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 toe down. In three, two, one, get it started. 
Oh yeah, we can good there. Set your pace here for the second lap. Right here, right now. I know you did not wake up today saying, I want to be ordinary. I know we did not wake up saying, I want to be mediocre. So strive for the extraordinary. There you go, running me. We got 20 more seconds to go. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is the extra effort. So find it in your workout. Finish it out with those running man. Load up that front leg as fast as you can go. 10 seconds there, right? 10 seconds. Keep it up, Andrew. There we go, Joanna. 